Margaret Thatcher used to say, those Europeans, they're always getting into a mess and we have to save them. And there's nothing the Brexiteers have enjoyed more than schadenfreude in the last week that Germany is falling to pieces. We're going to have to save them, but this is a chance to screw them for a good Brexit deal. Let me just say, Germany has had a terrible past in many respects, but since 1949, it's been one of the best governed countries in the world, and we're all the better off for it. In fact, as we shoot ourselves in the foot with Brexit, I just wish we only had Germany's problems. We all know that Germany has gone through dark times in the past. Hyperinflation, Nazism, communism in the East. But even allowing for a national psyche that dislikes uncertainty, the collapse of these coalition talks isn't much more than a political hiccup. Germany's instability is far more apparent than real. Since 1949, Germany has had only eight chancellors. In that period, we've had 15 prime ministers, nearly twice as many. I trade our instability for their stability any time. While German prosperity rises, ours declines. Only yesterday, the Chancellor slashed our growth rate from 2% to 1.5%, whilst Germany's has been increased by the same amount. And their productivity is something that the British only dream of. And the disparities of wealth are far less in Germany than they are here in Britain. Of course, admitting large numbers of Syrian refugees made Mrs Merkel very unpopular. Unsurprisingly so, it would be even worse if it was here in England. But a country which managed to absorb an entire other country, East Germany, as successfully as the Germans have done, isn't going to have a problem with the Syrians. And I think they'll look back at this as a source of huge dynamism and opportunity for them as a country. In the words of Bilt, Germany's equivalent of the sun, the Brits, they sure know what a crisis is. We've just got a problem of a small party walking out of coalition talks. For Britain, their whole future as a country is now at stake. <laughs>